Hello, it's Wednesday. How are you? Johnny Daniel, your Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator in the beautiful 29 Palms. That's already over 100 degrees, at least midday. So, in the meantime, I am going to get my computer set, as always. Hello out there. And we will get this thing rolling for you. So my pre-order came in. Sorry if I'm hesitating, I'm trying to get everything set up. So my pre-order came in and I wanted to show you some of the things I got and remind you that the catalog will start to be mailed on the 21st or 22nd of May. The host appreciation night or VIP night will happen on the 22nd and the open house for the new catalog will happen on the 26th. Okay? Yes, I know it's a holiday weekend. If you cannot make that, just let me know. And I will have times during the week that you could drop by and pick up a catalog. Um, I do need to say that I will have some raffles, some giveaways. Hi, Jude, how are you? And um, I will have some raffles and giveaways at the open house as well as some projects. So just wanted to let you know what's going on. And I think that's about it for now. So with all that, I'm gonna grab a sip of water and I'm gonna show you some of the new stuff, which I think is really cool. So I'm not gonna pull out the ink refills um, because you know what those look like, right? I mean, hello, it's bottles of ink with the same ink pads. So, forgive me for bending, but I've got my big old crate down here. And I'm trying to look to see if I brought this up or not. No, I don't think so. So anyways, um, I've got my big old crate down here. So what I'm going to do is show you some stuff. We're gonna work with some stuff, and I'm gonna show you some pretty paper, and we're gonna have a great night, okay? I do not have giveaways right now because I just got this in, and I'm trying to get it all straight. I will be honest with you, okay? So we've got, let's see here. What's this officially called? I think it's black cord. Anyways, so it's got a little bit of a metallic almost because it's coated. So um, I will be interested to hear if you guys like this or not. Um, I like it for accents, but I'm having a very difficult time because of the composition of the fabric. I am having a very difficult time tying it and having it stay tied. So don't know about that one. That's still in the books, shall we say. So we've got some Knight of Navy Baker's Twine, and that's, you know, pretty standard, right? Um, we've got a metallic ribbon combo pack that actually we're going to be using the pink out of tonight, but I just wanted to show you it's got the a gorgeous green color, which happens to be, I believe it's Call Me Clover, and then the pink color... Let's see, does it say on here? I'm trying to remember which pink it is. Because it doesn't say it on here. Of course not, right? It's not going to help me out. Anyways, if anybody knows, but you shouldn't, right? Um, then, um, well, we'll figure that out later. We'll just say. So I've got some die cuts here. I'm not going to pull them out because I will show you the coordinating stamp sets instead which is a little bit easier to see online. All right, so let me start from the beginning. So we've got abstract impressions, similar, but 
similar to some stuff we've had in the past, but some other pieces to it and whatnot. And evidently I have to get the dog because this is always what we do. So hold on. that we've got is um let's see animal outing all right hold on i got a message from barb how do you find me you go on to stamping with johnny and the red door crafters and i should pop up and if i don't know more than that um hold on All right, so I'm going to keep going because I can't help you. I got to keep going, right? All right, we can't be here all night. So around the corner is a set that I got from on stage. And as soon as I saw this set, I went, this is so cool because I didn't think in paper. I actually thought in clay. I have yet to have my clay not warp on me. Not sure why that's doing that. I'm going to be doing some lookups pretty soon for my paper clay. But this just needs to be in clay. So we will get there. Okay? All right. So detailed with love. This is another one that I got at on stage or convention, whatever you want to say. And I love this one for encouragement. So many of my smiles begin with you. So good deal alrighty so next one I have here is enjoy life now this one oh my goodness wake up kick butt and repeat I I think no they didn't ask me I didn't write that but I probably could have right so kind of a cool stamp set I'm sure you will be seeing some things with that so this is called hand delivered this is a host set which translates to a host can be several different ways, okay? A host can be a traditional way of you hosting a class, bringing food, and we do it at my house, your house, or anywhere in between. Um, we can do a virtual, which means on Facebook, because um, I don't know anywhere else we can do it virtually. If you think of something, please let me know. Um, but, you know, the old-fashioned way is I want more than $150 worth of stuff because the new catalog's great, by the way. Um, it's already cost me a pretty penny. And um, this you can get with any or kind of order that totals over $150. So whether that be from only you or 15 friends, your choice is yours. Anyways, I will have a calendar out with some available dates at the open house so if you are interested I've already booked I believe two for the new book so please get on it because well hello there's only one of me so eventually I will run out of dates or be so tired that I say no thank you <laughs> probably not though <laughs> I always seem to find the energy I don't know how all right hold on my stack fell over out here all right so we've got itty bitty greetings. Now this is part two because one is on my table and this is basically a replacement for the teeny tiny wishes. Okay. And then we've got pick a pennant, which is going to be perfect with our new stamparatus, right? I mean, come on. And then we've got painted glass, which goes with these stained glass dies. And I bet there's going to be some gorgeous things that come out of this because I'm thinking colored keychains and that kind of stuff. I don't know. You know, sometimes I think in paper and sometimes not so much, right? So we've got stitched all around, which I liked the dies, to be honest with you, more than the stamp set. But you had to get it because it coordinated, right? And then this one has a very cool 
um, set of dies. I should show you both at the same time. I'm sorry. This is not replacing Lovely as a Tree, but it does kind of coincide with it. But the die cuts are gorgeous because it's most of the trees, most of the leaves, and of course the stump, right? So this stump we got to do in clay, of course, right? So that's pretty much the stamp sets except for the ones I'm going to use in a minute. But I will say this, look at this. We've got a new chamois. So at the open house, I will have this out to play with. This is a cleaning tool instead of doing the pad and the cleaner and all that. So we're gonna see how this works. We're not there yet though. Like I said, just starting to play. And then for those of us that are big shot people, we've got embossing mats now, which translates to, and I haven't played with them yet, so don't you know quote me on this yet, but I will figure it out, I promise. But these are any die cut, any framelit, any thinlet, I believe, um, with this mat will become an embossing and not cut. So I just need to figure out how, right? Okay. I didn't need to sleep, right? Okay. Just check in with you. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go through a couple packs of paper and then we're gonna get started because otherwise we will be here all night. And this is the 2018 to 2020 in color six by six stack. Jude, if you went to go get a cup of water, you need to come back because this is probably what you want to see, my dear. This is Grapefruit Grove, this is Pineapple Punch, this is Lovely Lipstick, this is Blueberry Bushel, and this is Call Me Clover, okay? This is our stack that in the past has been the floral stack and everything else. So this is what we've got this time around for our in colors. Let me flip. So just a great, bright, I love the colors this time, but great, lightly patterned stack, okay? Hold on, let me lean down here. All right, so we've got to go with the Rooted in Nature. This is Nature's Poem Designer Series paper. And give me a half a second here because we're gonna open this baby so you can see all the pages because that's what makes sense to do, right? It does no good living in a package, <laughs> does it? No. All right, hold on. I'm coming back. All righty, so we've got some leaves. We got some other leaves. And like I said, first time opening this, so some ferns. My goodness, everything is not working finger-wise tonight. And then I've got some other leaves. Yes. What's your favorite? Hi, Denise, how are you? Glad you said hello. God, this is almost like, um, not photosynthesis. I'm trying to remember, photokinetic? No. Where you put the paper in the sun and it bleaches the paper underneath. I can't remember right now. It'll come to me later. Anyway, so that's the end of that, but let's see the other side, right? Of course, right? So we've got some stripes that are gorgeous. We've got some gorgeous, gorgeous wood, which goes with the rooted in nature. Hello, that's why it's coordinating, of course, but that is pretty. Okay. Some um, burlap, burlap kind of texture. Love the leaves, love the texture behind it. And look at that. That is one of our favorite colors, right? Is that fresh fig or razzleberry? Not sure. I'll have to look at the packaging. Uh, this is probably my favorite out of the whole thing is right there okay so we're gonna be doing some paper shares and some ribbon shares because there is some gorgeous stuff and I don't know about you but my bank account is not handling it well so um, we will be doing some ribbon shares so you will be able to get your hands on a whole bunch of stuff and it not cost you an absolute fortune how's that sound for you does that sound like a good idea um, so while I'm opening this, I should talk about the catalog. Actually, remind me after, because I just got it. <laughs> no problem, right? So this is Tranquil Textures. 
I ordered this because my gosh, it was gorgeous. And that's all there is to it. I just love this watercolor background stuff. So there's some bubbles. And if it were orange holly, this would be your snake skin, right? Okay. We don't have to worry about snake skin as much now that we're both not doing the derby thing, but it still would be gorgeous. So some gorgeous paper. Let me flip it. Hold on. We're not done yet. Still, there's more behind door number two. Okay. So we've just got some gorgeous designs this time. I love this for backgrounds. This will actually, because it's not so busy and more textured, would actually be, be some great scrapbooking um, layouts. Are you surprised, Denise? I said that. Scrapbooking layouts. Oh my gosh. I know. I'm starting to think differently, huh? Can anybody guess this color? Let's see. Hold on. It's the blue that I'm showing. Can anybody guess that color? Anyways, it's balmy blue, which is perfect for it. Alright, so that is what I pre-ordered. That is not everything, of course, but it'll get us started now, won't it? Alright, so let's get moving, shall we? <laughs> Since, you know, hello, that's, that's the whole point, right? All right, I forgot a piece of my scratch white. Okay, so um, for tonight, I'm just gonna play and do a Mother's Day card, if that's okay with you. And we're gonna use one other new pack of designer paper, of course, because we can. And let me get situated a little bit, because right at the moment, there is no room for anything, including myself. So, get these blocks up here, get my glue where I can find it. I will lose it still, I promise. And this is the Garden Impressions 6x6. Six six. We have a lot more 6x6 six six this time around, at least I feel. I haven't gone through and counted, so don't quote me on that, but it just seems like it. I'm not really sure. Okay. All right, so we got to take a look at this, right? So this kind of goes with that abstract, what was it called? Abstract impressions or something? The first stamp set I showed you. So we've got some roses. And then um, there's four in each, and I believe it's 48 in the set. It's quite a bit. Um, a photo box keeps this contained very well, or a quart size Ziploc bag if you don't have that, or a file keeper, depending. Those just three ideas right off the top of my head. Um, I, I chose the box because then my corners don't get bent. So, and then the other side of this. Okay, not sure about that one, but I like the other side. <laughs> so that'll be all right. I think right now I'm leaning towards that for a background. So that's why I'm pulling. So, okay. So we've got this. This is our 30th anniversary. So I tend to think that some of our paper is really bright. And some of our paper is tending to lean towards the 80s styling. Which I guess is in fashion magazines. Should go this way, right? I guess is in fashion magazines right now because I actually saw somebody wearing a denim mini skirt and oh my gosh, right? I mean, hello, all you need is purple lipstick and the scrunch socks and we're back. So that almost looks like that pink cami fabric that I've seen in the past. So, and about the same, but in a different color. Obviously the flowers are different. And we've got some yellow here. Probably Daffodil Delight. If I know my colors, I'm not sure. It could be Pineapple Punch, too. That is gorgeous there. I'll we'll have to figure out what to do with that. Let's see. Do we like the backside? Maybe. 
All right, so we've got some other yellow. This is a lot of paper, you guys. This is why we need to do a paper share because I don't know about you, but I can probably get by with two of each or one of each until I really figure out if I like it and then go from there. But that's just me. I'll see what you guys think. Ooh, I like that one. That one is, that one may not be in the share. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I'm going to be hoarding all of that. <laughs> so I'm just totally teasing you. But that one is probably my favorite out of all of them. Okay. So we're going to do this and I'm going to grab here. Excuse me for the reach. All right. So we are going to grab this. And we're gonna grab this, and I'm gonna trim, once I can find my trimmer, there we go, okay. And we're gonna trim down to five and a quarter, by four, of course. Now you wanna pay attention if you are cutting, depending on what side and depending on what direction, you wanna make sure that you cut the way that you want your paper to go, right? Okay. Just, you know, FYI. <laughs> because I would be the type that would forget. So, okay. So we're just doing a little bit of playing with some new stuff. Sound good? All right, so we're gonna do this. And it's always so hard for me to get straight when I'm, um, whew. Something just cycled because everything just flashed for a second. You still there? Looks like it. All right. So I'm just creating another mat here. And like I said, I'm running out of room, but that's okay. All right. So creating another mat. And let's see what we're going to do. So this is our new dies here. And I'm, let's see, we already glued that down. So I'm thinking we need to pop out these roses. I don't know what y'all think, but that's what I'm thinking. So this guy's a big, huge hunker corner piece. So I'm thinking we need to cut like that and have it come out. Okay. So guess what I have? The infamous big shot. Jude, I'm so glad yours is fixed, hun. We'll keep the spare parts for next time. Hopefully there won't be a next time, but I really think that new platform might be your way of um, not having that thing blow up on you again. Cause I'm telling you, my stuff gets used and abused, but I'm not really sure how that happened. We'll just say that. But, um, so I'm running this through. That's harder to do when you sit down. Okay. So one thing about your dies, you want to make sure. Oh, I didn't realize it was going to cut off completely. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so one thing about your dies, you want to make sure all the little tiny pieces are out because you do not want to have remnants in there because that also makes things not go evenly and then your stuff breaks so you just want to make sure everything's clean and tidy shall we say okay so we're gonna grab this and grab the pieces you can also but see how easy this is going Jude um, you can also grab the roller brush if you prefer but I never seem to remember that for some reason I'm not sure why but but see how easy these just pop out, Jude? This this is the platform. This platform makes a huge difference because there's a um, bump in the middle. Sorry, I had an itch in my eye. Um, there's a bump in the middle, which means there's no low point, and the pressure is more even, and it just it works so much so so much better. Don't bend your leaves like I just did though. Okay. Um, this might be a good one too to um, to do with the adhesive sheet so you don't have to finagle 
now that I'm looking at it, my fingers are not working all that well now. So I'm just going to poke and poke and poke. Um, but this is probably a good one. And I'm trying to think, yeah, the adhesive sheet would also pull out more of these um, pieces and parts, shall we say. So, okay. And I got a couple that are sticking a little bit. Not too, too bad, but definitely not perfect. Okay. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm about done poking holes, so I think I'm going to trim this. <laughs> It's awfully big anyways, but I, you know, we're already running long tonight, so guess what? We're just going to kind of, and that trimmer's not going to work. Boogers. We're going to do it old school way, and hopefully it'll be straight, but there's so many things going on, I think it'll be fine, but I got tired of poking holes, you guys. Sorry. All right, so now I just got the edges here, and we'll be fine. Okay? So, just, you know, I only have so much patience when I know that somebody's watching and waiting for me. <laughs> so, this would also be a good one with the Dazzling Diamonds, but remember, guess what? Guess what's happening? Yep, that's exactly right. It's retiring. It's actually on the discount list right now. If you haven't poked and prodded, I need to announce that. But there is a discount retiring list and the Dazzling Diamonds, um, I just glued this onto my paper. Anyways, the Dazzling Diamonds is on there at a discounted rate. So if you're into that, you might wanna grab a couple packs. I think it's like 425 instead of five or something like that. I'd have to look. Okay, let me grab my embossing buddy real quick. Embossing buddy not only is good for keeping your embossing powder where you want due to taking the static out, but it's also pretty good for taking your stickies out of your page too. I would encourage you to have two of them so you don't rub adhesive where you don't want it, but you know, it's what it is, right? Okay. So we're going to change this design a tiny bit since, um, <laughs> you know, the whole thing changed. No big deal, right? <laughs> so, all right, where's my other set right in front of me like I thought? Okay. So I'm going to do Happy Mother's Day because, hello, that's what we got going on. And that one is too big. Too big for me to handle. So we've got that going on and I am going to match. So we are going to do our lovely lipstick. Now these are our new ink pads. I announced these last week, but there's no push pull and everything else. It's okay. This is a first one. All right. So this is open like a compact and slide. My goodness. This one's stiff. Let me let me show you after a couple openings, okay? So this one here, pop open and slide. And then you're gonna pull on the cover color and snap close. We no longer do the push and pull and all that nonsense. So let me get this one slid. Woo! That one's stiff. If it's too stiff, grab a birthday candle and just wipe the wax along that track and you'll be just fine, okay? And I just stuck that down, but it'll be okay. Alrighty. Get the glue off the back. See, it happens to the best of us, right? And actually, I wanted to do a tiny bit of lacy background kind of stuff. So we're going to grab that out of the very vintage, and we're just going to make a very light colored lacy background. Yes, with the same color. Yes, it's dark at first. Ooh, that one side is lighter. So we're going to grab, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to lightly touch 
lightly touch, breathe on it, lightly touch, ink again, lightly touch, okay? And if it's not light enough, which, my gosh, that is pretty dark, guess what we're gonna do? Flip a little bit. Because I'm just wanting the texture here. I'm not actually wanting a ton of color because I want to stamp across this, okay? So this is what I'm aiming for. And hopefully it's not upside down. No, we did just fine. Okay, so we've got that going on. And we're gonna trim it. And yeah, normally I'd say punch it, but guess what, I'm not. So we're just gonna trim it out real quick because I wanna use this, this new um, trio punch and show you that it works better than the last one we had because the last one was just not very anything. <laughs> we'll just say, and no, I'm not measuring. If, if you're looking at what measurements am I doing, I'm literally cutting at the edge of where I stamped, okay? And just making it work. <laughs> I know that drives some of you crazy, but that is what I'm doing. So we are going to stick this down in here. And we're just going to grab and round two of the corners. Okay, see how easy that is? And um, the reason I say only two is because I want to grab and do a tiny bit of accent on the other ones, okay? So you got a little bit of mess, but other than that, we're good, okay? So we've got this going on, and then I've got this going on. What do y'all think so far? Do you like it? I hope so. We'll just say that. Let me see if I can close this guy, because, whew, that one was pretty stiff. I gotta fix that, don't I? All right, and then we've got our metallic pearls, yes, which I've already been using quite a bit of. And um, let's see here. You wanna use, when you have dimensionals, you wanna use all of them, because this stuff works too, right? So you wanna make sure, whew, that one peeled before I even wanted it to. You want to make sure to use all of your dimensionals, not just the honeycomb part. Because it works. It all works. Okay. So we're just going to peel the back here. And we're just going to peel the back here. And we're going to grab this. And we're going to throw this here. What do you think so far? Do you like? I hope so. And then I'm gonna grab some of these pineapple punch metallic pearls. See that three times fast? And I'm gonna do the middle of my flowers. And then I'm probably gonna be done. Unless you say otherwise. But I'm not gonna do the middle of my rows. Because, well, hello, that's just wrong, right? I got one on my finger. They come off a lot easier than the other pearls used to. So, okay, so this is my Mother's Day card. I hope you like it, and I hope you like the fact that you got a preview of some of the things that are coming, and um, let's see. Show fixing of pad on camera. Ah, uh, not this time because my candles are in the fridge, so they need to be room temp. So I will do that as a blog post, though, okay? Um, oh, dude, your son's watching with you. Very cool. Anyways, so I don't have anything else for tonight since we went like a full 30 minutes. I think maybe, you know, we might all have something else to do tonight, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Ah, you didn't remind me. I forgot to talk to you about the catalog. All right. So catalogs will be in. They will be mailed the week of the 21st, 22nd in there. Um, if you've ordered with me in the last year, you will get one. Um, there will be some other gimmies with it and everything else. Um, I have brand new shiny metallic red padded envelopes for all the catalogs to go in. Um, been working on the whole branding thing, right? So we've got that going on. And um, 
Let's see. If you haven't ordered with me in the last year or have a question about it, then please let me know. And I'll be glad to send you one, but obviously I can't search through everything because, hello, that's a lot of people. So, so anyway, so that's about it for tonight. I think we've gone through quite a bit. And I hope you like the new stuff that's happening. And if you want to see any of it in person, come to the open house on the 26th or the VIP night on the 22nd if you've been a host or part of club. And find me on the blog, www.stampingwithjohnny.com. Have a great night and thank you for joining me.